or night owl? Night owl when I was a student, but now I'm a morning person. The song that helps you relax is... The Bach Cello Concertos played by Yo-Yo Ma. The song that gets you moving is... Anything with a fast beat. How many hours do you sleep a day? Between seven and eight. I need my sleep. What time do you get up? Depends on the day and the shift, but I'm usually up by about six or 6.30. Coffee or tea person? <laughs> um, coffee in the morning and tea in the afternoon. Favorite breakfast is? Two soft-boiled eggs and coffee. Favorite non-sports related activity is? Going for walks um, in the woods near our house. Favorite sports activity is? Rock climbing. How do you go to work? I drive, like most Americans. If you put a bumper sticker on your car, what would it say? I would never put a bumper sticker on my car. What is your favorite movie and why? Um, I don't have one favorite movie, but I like period films and historical films. Which food do you miss the most from your childhood? I grew up in the American South, so that would be grits. What is on your work desk right now? Not much. I keep a pretty clean desk. What would you like to have in your office? A better view. What are the top three apps in your phone? My calendar, my email, and WhatsApp. Your favorite workday distraction is? Chatting with my colleagues. If you want to eliminate one thing from your workday, it is? Chatting with my colleagues <laughs> so I can get more done. What did you want to be when you grew up? An astronaut. Uh, my grandfather was an engineer for NASA, so I grew up with a lot of rocket scientists and astronauts. I used to think it was a normal job. Which team are you a fan of? The Boston Red Sox baseball team. Who is the biggest influencer on you and why? Um, probably my mother. She's the one who taught me to work hard and be persistent. What is the most important lesson you learned as an emergency physician? Um, adaptability. The hardest thing about being an emergency physician is? Explaining to others what we do. The best thing about being an emergency physician is? The privilege of being allowed to be a part of people's lives at critical moments. Who is the most important person you admire and why? I admire Ron Walls professionally because I think he's a very good leader. What is the one thing you have learned never to do as an emergency physician? Don't assume. Proudest moment in your career is? Watching my trainees go on to excel. Your favorite star is? Star like celebrity or a star in the sky? Amal Clooney. Your favorite star in emergency medicine is? Brown walls. What is your best advice to trainees starting their career? Try everything. What advice would you like to be given when you are starting your career in emergency medicine? Be confident. You look more confident than you feel. Your biggest personal possession is? My car, but it's not that big. Do you work out? Yes. What is your usual workout routine? I have a personal trainer and she mixes it up. So it's usually weights with a cardiac component. What is your secret vice? Um, late night movies. What is your spirit animal? Pass. <laughs> Are you a dog or cat person? Cat person. Your favorite off duty activity is? Reading. One trait to look for in a trainee is? Integrity. Besides face-to-face, -face, what is your favorite way to communicate with trainees? Email. Describe your leadership style in five words or less. Fair, supportive, exacting. One should emergency physicians consume less is? Self-doubt. One should emergency physicians consume more is? Sleep. What is the best way to say no? No. Best way to run a teaching session is? Interactively. Best way to communicate with a patient is? 
empathetically. Best way to start a night shift is with a cup of coffee in your hand. Three words best defining emergency medicine. Adaptability, competence, and sense of adventure. Which patient you do not want to start a shift with? Epistaxis. I just hate epistaxis. Longest hours you are not able to go to a restroom in a shift is? 14 hours. Longest hours you are not able to eat in a shift is? 14 hours. Macintosh or Miller? Mac. Direct laryngoscopy or video laryngoscopy? Direct laryngoscopy. Cunningham or scapular rotation? Cunningham. Canadian C-spine rules versus Nexus criteria? Nexus, with extra modification. Favorite sedation agent is? Propofol. Normal saline or ringer lactate? Normal saline. What is the best thing an emergency physician can do to manage in a crisis? Remember that you're trotting on known territory. What is your greatest hope for the emergency medicine in the next 10 years? That young people will embrace more leadership so that we can advocate for our specialty. Why emergency medicine is unique? We're the only doctors who can do everything. What is your work and life balance secret? That there is no balance. It's more a discussion of the preferred imbalance on any particular day. How would you react to a trainee who mispronounces your name? With sympathy. I hate when I mispronounce someone's name. The first emergency medicine book you ever own is? The Pocket Tintinale. Favorite snack during a shift is? Coffee. <laughs> the toughest period in your career is? My International Emergency Medicine Fellowship. In a plane, window, or aisle? Aisle. What is the app you can't live without? My calendar. What is your favorite board game? Scrabble. Are you a pool or beach person? Neither. I like the mountains. What is the one thing you wish you did better when you were in training? More procedures. How many emails are waiting in your email box right now? 49. What advice would you give to someone who's interested in going into emergency medicine? Do it. It's a great specialty. Okay. Gosh, anything I want to say to medical students and residents? Yeah. The advice I would give to medical students is choose the medical specialty that really makes you happy. So when you're doing your rotations, find something that you're really comfortable in, that fits like a glove, and do that. Don't just choose because of lifestyle or what you think your parents want you to do. In your early career, you want to get the best possible clinical emergency medicine training you can. But that will only entertain you and sustain you for so long. If you really want to take emergency medicine to the next level, you need to get trained in leadership and take an active part in moving our profession forward. That was fun. Thank you very much. Spirit animal. I don't know. What's yours? <laughs>